Hello, everybody. My name is DD. I'm Honey C. <laughs> and welcome to Cowboy Carter. Yeehaw! Act two, baby. <laughs> baby. We're about to get into all things Beyonce today, all things related to Act two and oh, Renaissance Part one. It is time, guys. Act two is finally here. We're here to celebrate, to get on our cowboy hats, our cowboy boots, and my cowboy buckles. And I'm here with Declan D. This is Honey C. So buckle up and clock in. This is a we had a time. <laughs> So what is T Cyrus? I mean, honey, see, tell me what's going on with Miss Beyonce. Oh, Declan D, we here for Cowboy Carter, right. honey. Cowboy Carter, honey. Oh, this has been five years in the making. This five this album, years. Was five years in the making. She recorded it. Before Renaissance Act yes. 1, which we found out recently, which is insane. It's like, absolutely insane. Like, her work ethic is just, like, unfathomable. Like, she is incredible. I love Beyonce. Mm-hmm. I just want to be her. Ugh. To be her for a day, that would be heaven. That's heck. So what did you think about the album title, the album cover, when it first was announced? I think everybody knows now that Beyonce is a dom top. And (laughs) she will very much put Boy in her title, whatever she can. And that's why she put Cowboy instead of Cowgirl. Like, it's very much... Yeah, like, um, you want me on... Because I'm a black (laughs) female... You're going to have me on these streets talking about I'm a cowboy, not a cowgirl. You're not, not going to do girl. me like that because the CMA did her dirty. They did her dirty. And I think what is so iconic about this album, she's taken ownership of what's rightfully ours. Yes. Okay. Like she's taken ownership of black music. We have been made to feel like for centuries that, oh, country uh, originates from a different demographic. But mm-hmm. no, it originates from us. And I think she, I love the fact that she's reclaiming it and making it her own. Mm-hmm. As she said, this is a Beyonce album, yeah. not a country album. So, like, it's just epic. It's very much a Beyonce album. I'm so happy to hear, like, no one's touching her in this field. And uh, that album, yeah, whew. She's y'all, coming from the album y'all year. better just buckle up for that. Because if she doesn't get it this year, then the beehive are going to. Riot. I will riot. Oh. Not even just like anyone else. I will be up there with my pitchfork yeah, and go into the academy being like, what oh. the hell? Because this album is too good, guys. Like, I've been listening to it non-stop. It literally came out like 12 hours ago. <laughs> and we're here recording. We were like, nah, let's record and let's let's show you guys all about, you know, all things Beyonce, our first reactions mm-hmm. to Beyonce to Cyrus, what was your first reaction to this album? I'm asking this question like I wasn't reacting with him on on their text message. On messages. Like, oh, I was just so in awe. Like, from (laughs) the first song, American Requiem. I noticed that every song that has um, an I in it, she'll put two eyes to simplify, like, the number two. two. Um, It was so good. Like, I, I don't have the vocabulary to describe it right now because it's still so fresh in my mind like it it was everything that an album opener should have <laughs> especially for someone like Beyonce because we, we've known her for years like we know the growth we see the growth we've but like seen the growth. you know she's gonna <laughs> seeing that, that like, first song like she, it had so many elements like the genres that are mixed in with country and like i had a little bit of rock and roll with the yeah, uh, 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 i said okay she's coming for blood, blood. Yeah. and like the first song was just epic like i just can't get enough of it what absolutely i i felt exactly the same i think like i was stunned gagged i don't i don't even know what to like to say like i didn't know what to anticipate um and so i was like on my bed and i was like what is this gonna be about mm-hmm. But I was so surprised. Every song had my mouth wide open. Yeah. And I think what was really, really good is the fact that she tapped into multiple different genres yeah. and left us 
screaming. Like I didn't even know what to say. Like I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to say. As Cyrus just touched upon, she she went down the rock route a little bit. Yeah, she went, cool. she touched on country. Of course, country is like, you know, the main country genre. Core, honey, cause it's exactly. Core, yeah. And then she did a little bit of gospel, mm. a little bit of folk, mm. R&B. And it was just everything. And not to mention country trap. Mm. Like, no, oh that was God, epic. That Towards was the good. end of the album, I was like, oh my goodness. What what, what has she done? What has she done? Um, but I, I want to talk about my top three favorite songs. I'm going on track this now so we don't miss anything. Yeah, girl. Um, my top three favorite songs, Tyron. Mm-hmm. Tyron. Like Tyrant, that like that song, she's riding like that is the dom top energy that we absolutely love from Beyonce. And I think what it, it, she's just on top, like she is, she is the queen. And mm-hmm. the fact that it's like I kind of like a play on words, mm-hmm. like she's like a tyrant because she's a powerhouse, but she means that in terms mm-hmm. of like the bedroom, you know. And I absolutely love that song. My second favorite song um, is "Just for Fun." I know I don't know if many people will actually love that song, but "Just for Fun" for me was very emotional. Okay. Very emotional. It was like my life. <laughs> like she was just singing hallelujah. Like the way she went into it you can hear the pain you can hear mm. like i'm gonna get i'm gonna get through this mm. regardless of anything i'm gonna get through this and can't break her yeah you won't break my soul <laughs> Literally. but you know this is just for fun <laughs> um and then my third favorite song come on guys spaghetti <laughs> that's spaghetti. where the album switch we're like switches genres that's a funny kind of thing or whatever um What's his name? He said it. He was like, it's a funny kind of Willie. Was it Willie Nelson? Will, no, Willie it was, Nelson. It was Linda Martell oh, okay. and Shabuzi. <laughs> <laughs> you like spaghetti though? Tell me. Um, spaghetti is because I think this was where she put her. This is Raponce at mm-hmm. her finest. She put her pussy, but also her. I don't know, like her rap skills mm. to the test, yeah, and yeah. it was just so beautiful to hear, record. like. How she changes and mixes it up. She's Mm -hmm. such a versatile artist. And it's just so inspirational. Mm -hmm. Cyrus, tell me about your top three favorite tracks so far. Oh, (laughs) this is always a very like hard topic for me because like I I hate having like top songs for Beyonce because I know like every (laughs) song is so well thought out and so like just like it has so much meaning behind it. I haven't had the chance like actually dive into that yet because it's still so fresh it's been 12 hours literally but for right now the top songs for me (laughs) i I like to dance y'all so (laughs) top songs for me um i go with number one which is obviously yaya oh Um, my god (laughs) i forgot that song (laughs) no you forget the song that's my way to that is my favorite anyway she said turn the wigs around dina jones dream girls tease in that song Damn. like Dolly Parton was that no it was um who was before it I think Dolly it was, Parton was, was it, before it no it was Linda Martell oh, she was okay, like okay. saying that oh this is kind of different so just prepare yourself that's what I love about it's literally a radio show it's a album. radio show like, like we are at the Rodeo she's taken us to Texas and put us in the Rodeo she's like okay <laughs> like y'all better buckle up for this one because we change it up a bit and we got into Yaya and Yaya it was hit like Yaya, Yaya was just Cunt, oh, like she kidding. was cunt, and I just I don't know what it is about her that just anything she puts mm-hmm. her name on is just iconic. It works and like I just got Dream Girls immediately from that. Absolutely, I don't even know where that happened. It was so funny because in our group text, I, um, he was like, "Oh, Dina Jones," and I put Dream Girls. I was like, "What? Yeah. <laughs> we had not the same like, we had the being same in sync." Um, my second favorite song is sweet honey bucking mainly the bucking part because i said oh this is an ass shaking song like sweet honey bucking is sickening <laughs> like <laughs> sweet honey bucking is that song for the girls who like to dance yes. like you have to be up like i need a drink in my hand i need i need an ambiance of sounds <laughs> and like Euphoria around me when I'm listening to that song, and I can definitely hear like a Megan feature somewhere. Exactly in the for that one. So Megan, you better get on bucking because that is a song. Obviously, the song starts out a bit smooth, like 
I think it's three different songs. It's three different songs. It's called Sweet Honey Bucking, like um, Pure Honey. So it's like, woo. I think it's so interesting um, how in Act 1, um, the penultimate song is Pure Honey. In this, in Act 2, it's uh, Sweet Honey Bucking. Bucking yeah. Like, what is it with honey that she's trying to allude to? I think it's another song for the hive, where it, where it incorporates honey. It's just about, like, for the beehive. Like, this is what y'all gonna dance to. It's like, so interesting, like, how that's the penultimate song for mm-hmm. both of the... Both so of the both albums, the albums. It's, it's just e- epic. And the, and those two songs both have like such different elements mm-hmm. to it. Um, so yeah, what is your third and final song? <sighs> for now anyway, because well, it's been so early. It's very early, but for now it has to be American Requiem. That oh. opener was, so like, I already spoke about it, but so let me just talk, summarize it quickly. It was just, it was just everything. Like, I was in my bed rocking. Obviously, it was like 12, so I couldn't be like all loud and stuff, couldn't blast it. But in my ears, I was, so I was losing that. my mind in my bed. Like, that was album opener and the vocals. And uh, like, yes. Astronomical. Yes. Astronomical. Thank you, Beyonce. Once thank again. You. Like, honestly, mother. thank you. You are I mother. Am, You're am, am, iconic. I'm excited for the visuals, but honestly, I was having my own visual party in my mind when I was listening to mm-hmm. these songs, like, especially when Yaya came on. Mm. I was like, ooh, oh, <laughs> oh. I was just living my best life. But I want to also touch upon Miss Miley Cyrus. Yes, Hannah Montana at her finest. So Cyrus is a huge Hannah Montana fan. I so, was a huge Hannah when I was younger, yeah. Yeah, I still, so... I still respect the ting, and I still respect Miley C, so... Of course! I yeah. was a huge <laughs> Hannah Montana fan as well, mm. and I love Miley Cyrus down. So what was your reaction to that song? It validated all those times <laughs> when I was, like, in my living room, Channel 609, <laughs> Hannah Montana, every day, singing the songs, if we were... Mo- Literally, it was like, Oh my god, this makes so much sense. And like seeing the way Hannah, 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 Miley Cyrus <laughs> is growing up, like being a child star, and then like Beyonce, and then both being from like southern countries as well, like or states. It's crazy because like it's just it just makes sense in my head. Obviously, to a lot of people, it wouldn't make sense because it's mm. like they're not really friends, not in the same age bracket. But Miley is like a legend in herself because she's been working for years and like she's only won her first grammy so it just it just makes everything a beautiful like culmination this country and um i think dolly parton's also her godmother yeah yeah we all know and dolly from hannah montana so like to hear (laughs) and dolly on the album is just like this is disney beyonce like fusion like worlds colliding and then her <laughs> talking about like till the day i die like oh bra- and i always God. say till the wheels fall off i will stand fiance Literally. like till the wheels fall off so that was my song like that song was made for me so that it is was, like an honorable mention it was definitely a full circle moment yeah. absolutely hearing that song and miley's tone like you can hear mm. the maturity in her voice so mature, it yeah. really like they sound so sonically so beautiful together Mm -hmm. and they complement each other really well and I felt that that song was just like wow like I don't know what else Beyonce can do at this point but (laughs) it's just incredible Mm. the features were epic I Mm. love that she showcased black a country singers that we didn't really know about we didn't know about Shibuzi Mm. we didn't know about all these beautiful singers Mm. um, that are exceptional in their own right but Mm. i love the fact that she showcased them and touched upon um the different um fluidity and genres that encapsulates Mm -hmm. country it's not only one (laughs) rangadangadangadang like it's not all the same (laughs) it's literally it's so much more broader than that and i think i'm so glad that she touched on that yeah like you never know what to expect from beyonce like I learned that lesson when Renaissance was about to drop and people were about to drag this yeah. woman. <laughs> and that's why I, I just didn't listen to any of it this time. Because I know she's not going to come out with something that is mediocre. It's Never. going to have weight. It's going to have purpose. It's Absolutely. going to be something that she's going to look back on and be like, oh, this was legendary. What am I going to do next now? And just fuck these people up. So... Yeah, we thank you, Beyonce. <laughs> we thank you so much. much. I'm just so excited for this era. So like, excited. It's been full speed ahead since Renaissance dropped in 2020. 
two. Yes, child. So it's just like, whoa. It's wait. very overstimulating. Cyrus and I have been speaking about this for weeks. We were like, <laughs> we are so overwhelmed. Like, no. we're so <laughs> overstimulated because there's a lot going on, not even just personally, but in terms of pop culture, like, so many things are going on. But Beyonce is number one in our eyes, and no one can surpass Beyonce like that's that's that um I just also wanted to quickly touch upon the fact that she, I felt like this album she was paying homage to the greats like mm. um Tina Turner rest in peace Yaya was very Tina, Tina Turner, Turner influenced yeah. um Dolly Parton of course um uh, Willie Nelson Michael um Linda Jackson Mattel well. like oh With, like some of the vocals was it what was the Michael Jackson ones that were was it Desert Eagle or River Dance? I I might be wrong. I think it was Desert Eagle. Desert Eagle, like the Desert end of that song, you can hear like the, the influence. Yes, don't. Uh, you can hear the influence <laughs> of like MJ and Janet Jackson at the end of it. It's like it's a mesh of genres, and like we know this is a Beyonce album. She didn't want it to be country because that would have just been like. A bit limiting for yeah. Beyonce. And I think, um, yeah, she put opera in it, like, with Daughter as well. Oh. Like, that was so beautiful. In Italia. Like, in Italia. <laughs> like, she was going back to her roots because you know Beyonce's Italian. And, like, listening to it, I knew she was going to... Dun, 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 go to the opera yeah. because I, I learned I this woman's voice the opera technique the so I just knew it was it coming was when like listening to it it was just so incredible to hear because she doesn't really do that in her albums like she saves that for like the live performances absolutely so. and yeah, yeah we were saying it. it gave Ave Marie down, down. <laughs> what does Cabo Carter mean to you like um, and this whole free part project mm. what has it given oh. you I think it's just given me, like, so much inspiration to be, like, creative and, like, be a creative force always in my life and, like, always plan ahead and just make <laughs> something out of nothing. Like, to do that, it's just incredible. Like, just to make something out of nothing, that's, that's like, the main reason why people create in the first place and like Beyonce she just yeah she's like oh pandemic's here so let's 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 let's, let's really like make yeah. a culmination of music like she says she recorded over 100 songs for Cowboy Car alone oh my god so goodness. you can imagine how many songs she recorded in that time of like just renaissance and act three like that's coming out soon so it's just it's just so inspiring and it just drives me creativity, like create creatively yep. to like look at my own self and like what I can do and like how I could also inspire other people and Ugh. just grow, like just grow as a human being, grow mentally, grow like to love as well. Like oh. she makes you want to love, like she, she wants to make you want to be in love. Like when she's <laughs> that was, uh, 60 carriages that line just hit me so hard because oh, I was like boy that's, that's all I ever want to do in life so um, yeah just to sum things up it was just passion yeah. <laughs> passion that's all I felt from this these three acts and I haven't got to the third act yet but it's just passion it's just, I life. just know it's gonna like it's gonna blow our minds completely yeah, but um, I think um, what this like three part acts has you know shown me yeah. is um, how to make something out of nothing and how to put your pussy and hard work <laughs> into into something that you're passionate about. Yeah. It has inspired me to keep pushing, regardless of mm. what the naysayers are saying. Mm. Like, um, just keep pushing, keep doing you, um, and yeah, keep motivating yourself. I think it's also inspired me to be in competition with myself mm. and only myself. That's it. Like, Literally. because that's so yeah. important because it's she true. ups herself every single time, yeah. but she's inspired by the greats before her and she uses those lessons to motivate her mm. and keep pushing. Um, and also she used the backlash from the CMA performance she's to be like, that. no, I'm, I'm iconic, bitch. Yeah, like, like, what? Like, you can't make me feel unwelcome in the genre that... Um, my people um, created. In the no. first song, she's like, I say, I sound too country, and then they're saying she's yeah, too white. Yeah, that she sounds too stuff, right. Like, oh, like she can never win, and it, and it's it's a huge life lesson for yeah. everyone. Like, regardless of what anyone says, just follow your heart and yeah. do you. Because at some point, people will love you. At some point, people will hate you. That's just life. Like it's fleeting. Um, <laughs> so it's just it showed me so much. Now we're gonna move on to talk about Renaissance. 
which is at one. Um, our tour diaries, so oh our experiences, <laughs> um, and then also our first reaction to the album. So we're going to cut into that now. Ow! <laughs> So Renaissance Act One. You, where do I even start? Okay, I don't know where to start. Oh, it all started when she did the interview with Vogue. Yes. Like she just turned forty, and like she's talking about like the next era of her life, and then she finally told us like the album name. It just said Renaissance Act One, and then she told us that it's gonna be a three part act series. That's when I lost it because like what? <laughs> Gonna do three albums, and everyone thought it was gonna be like um, album yep. movie tour. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. These are full projects, honey. Bodies of work. Bodies of work, and like it was. <sighs> that summer was incredible. After the album finally dropped on July, was it July 29th I or think July it was. 30th? One of those. Um, <laughs> it was the same same situation with Cowboy Car. I was just listening to it in my bedroom. This is before I knew Declan as well. So oh my god! We didn't even know each other back then. We did not. Like, um, I was just gagging in my bedroom and listened to it at twelve o'clock, and everyone was just on Twitter. Like with it, all the everyone unites on Twitter at that time, and I love it. Um, to see like the live tweets and everyone's reactions. Like everyone couldn't believe what they were hearing on social on Beyonce. Like. The new era of like Absolutely. her solo album that we haven't had in like six years, because there was a drought, but not really a drought. We still had tours, <laughs> we still had joint collab albums, and the gift was. Oh, the gift was gifted. <laughs> the gift was Act Zero Point Five. No, so literally. <laughs> yeah, where was you during Renaissance? Um, I was well? in my bed as well, mm -hmm. um, and I, I. I woke up to the album because I remember oh. like falling asleep. <laughs> it was uh, I, oh, I'm always falling asleep, but no, I remember actually waking up um, mm. and hearing the album in its entirety, and I was like, "What?" Mm. That was the, it was question mark like, huh? Mm. Like I, I think initially at first I didn't really understand, but then when I played it on my speaker. <laughs> that's when everything changed Change. for me <laughs> then it clicked um, and um not even that it was just she was tapping into like dance and you know disco, disco yeah. and um you know really going head first into it um and it was it was such a movement like mm -hmm. the renaissance was a movement <laughs> like the parties that we went to yeah. We shout out to, to Renee. Shout out to Renee the horse. That's like the first time Renee. we got introduced to the glitter horse. Our <laughs> original babe. We love you down. We hope you're still getting work. We, we see you getting work on Yeah, we see, we see Renee that. getting work. Yeah. We see her getting rented out. You know, oh, like yeah. having a good time. Like there was a guy with 30th birthday party yeah. and Renee was there making and all her glittery glory. We love her. <laughs> yeah, we, we love it. And um Obviously, we had a whole year of just like letting the album sink in, and mm. then it was time for the tour. It was time for the tour. It was time for the Renaissance tour. I remember this day so well because I I was going into <laughs> work and I had a meeting and like I was literally on the like the train platform and it was like it was February first. I even remember the date. I think it was February first. Um, I was on a train platform <laughs> and she dropped the the the, the poster. Yeah. I lost it and i was like i'm so ready for this like i've been waiting so long to see her again since it was since 2018 the last time i saw her before renaissance so it was just like here we go again child here we go like, again tickets and like the keys oh the my gosh and because obviously this was my first beyonce concert that mm. i was attending i was like i need to get multiple are you dumb like mm. drain my account like take all the coins because <laughs> Absolutely, I need to experience this multiple times. And I remember, like, obviously, we when I saw the poster, I was like, I couldn't believe it because we've been waiting for Beyonce for so many years mm -hmm. at that point. Um, so yeah, so we managed to get tickets to we Wales. Were fling, when I tell you, we were flinging money left, right, and left, right. We were sending who money to get the tickets for us. Oh like, my god! Shout out to Harley, we love you. Oh, oh Harley, shout Harley, to Owen, we love you as well. Yes, um, um, we decided <laughs> to also go to Wales. <laughs> so we went to Wales the um yeah, I think it was the first the first yeah. Wales day. Uh, was there more of a Wales days? 
No, mm -hmm. it was only one world's day. Yeah. Um, so we went to Wales um, and we decided because we wanted to see the tour first, like, of course. Mm. Um, and that was a, an experience in itself. So we arrived, we had an Airbnb <laughs> um, and we, we just started like venturing out. And we met Timmy and Nabil oh, there. Like guys. they were so sweet. Like, and Timmy and Nabil are um, people that lived in Wales. In Wales yeah. um, and they showed us around. Gave us a little tour exactly. um, of Wales. But driven around it was so cute like it was everyone, it was just good vibes like Such the people vibes. we met in wales as well so sweet people <laughs> flew internationally to come to the concert yeah. as well so it was so nice to see the americans yeah and just people that you know we we never saw before and everyone was so sweet and we had a cute little outfits oh Do you remember what happened cute. when we first stepped out of our airbnb of our outfits oh <laughs> my gosh guys when we first stepped out of the airbnb this walking down day. the walking down the street Someone rolled down their window and said, Fires! And we were like, <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. We look, we do look we good, don't we? Like, that, yes, that made yes. the day for me. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, like we get noticed. Like we're just a tourist in the way. Oh my God. Like, because it. it was so good because it yeah. meant like we were serving cunt. Yeah. And that's exactly what we to wanted to cunt. serve. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, it was an epic. <laughs> <laughs> Even the girl in Tesco, she was really nice as well. I remember she's like, oh, she's because everyone like knew that we were going to be on stage. Yeah. So like excited. <laughs> And then, um, what else happened? Like, kind of was good. We got our little merch bags. So obviously, we had yeah. Club Ren Ren. <laughs> Club Ren Ren as well was at Ren. We were right mm -hmm. at the front. Um, and I, like it was so epic because we could see the movement of the, the hair, we could see everything. Mm -hmm. We could, it was too, too crisp. I kind of <laughs> wish we stood on the other side though. But no, we we still experienced mm. it, and we were very lucky that we mm -hmm. were so close to yeah. Beyonce during that time. So, so um, and even like, because I went to multiple days, I went to the one in London. Yeah. The stage was slightly lowered in Wales Ooh. as well, because like it was way high in London, but in Cardiff it was like eye level. So we were literally like eye level to Beyonce. It was, it was just it's, nuts. It was too cool. Was um, so yeah, as you just touched on, did you how many? dates did you go to i end? went to three <laughs> all um club renaissance dates yes i did had to um drained I, her <laughs> I drained her um i knew i had to because the the anxiety i have like just going to a one beyonce concert like i can't eat i can't do nothing because i'm just stressing of how the day's gonna go where i'm gonna be standing like people gonna be in front of me like i'm stressing i ain't that tall either so i gotta be at the front i gotta be a barrier spot so um yeah i went to cardiff and then uh, london and then london again um Second London date, whew, whew, the eye contact I got from Beyonce, oh my the eye God. contact, the 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 closeness, the, the feeling of just like seeing <laughs> your favorite artist is indescribable, <laughs> and like I get anxiety, bad, bad, but that's how I have to go three times. But how was it for you? Um, for me, it was really good. Um, I was meant to go three times, but I could only make. Um, too <laughs> mm. <laughs> um because i got food poisoning uh on the third date that i need i uh, was meant to go but um no i booked two times for club renaissance mm -hmm. and one time was seated with my sister shout out to you um but yes yeah, so i could only make um wales and then the seated one with my sister but mm. yeah it was epic because first of all we got to experience it in wales mm. up front mm. and then sec the second time i went it was from like far just, away and, and the then you got to see everything the production in its entirety mm. and it's you know in its glory and i mm. think that i was able to appreciate it more the second time because first time i was like <laughs> but, <laughs> um, the second time i was like oh i know the transition and it like it was mm. really really good and um, it was such an epic performance. It was a show. This is a production. It wasn't <laughs> anything like anything I've ever seen before because um, it was 10 out of 10. It was phenomenal singing on, te of, on 10. Like everything was epic. And I, it was nice was to see the it. new era of dances as well. Yeah. Oh God. Which yeah, was I incredible. I forgot about like the ballroom girls that the were in it as girls. well. Like shout out to Kevin Jay-Z Prodigy. Yes girl. Shout out to um, Honey. Balenciaga. Yes, girl. Is that, is my that Darius? 
Darius, oh my oh. babes, oh, so fine. So <laughs> Darius is fine. Um, but yeah, um, we loved them. Like it was, it made sense because obviously it's talking about the culture. And a shout out to Uncle Johnny, RIP. Hope you up there smoking a funny cigarette. Like, <laughs> love you down. Like, thank you for giving us Beyonce, the Beyonce we have today. Yeah, um, it's just, it was just epic. And yeah, I think um, just to sum it up, I feel like the Renaissance really helped me be more comfortable with my sexuality. If I'm being honest, because yeah. it was just nice to see like her celebrate the culture, but also yeah. in a way that was tasteful and not like I didn't feel like it was appropriating or making fun of it. Checking, I felt like she um, just boxes, made sure yeah. that um, everyone felt included, mm. um, but then also did it in a beautiful way, and it just made me feel like ah, oh, this is me. Like I felt included. Yeah. So yeah, Thank love you. Beyonce. <laughs> Guys, this is our cool down section. We're gonna play a little game called Guess the Beyonce songs. <laughs> <laughs> so I have um come up with a number of different songs. Well, we obviously have to pick different songs. Yeah. Um and we well Cyrus has to, you know, guess it in, in less than 10 seconds yep. or else she's out. Yep. So let's go. <laughs> Test me. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna go Romantic into God. obscure yeah. territory here, and these are just Beyonce solo albums, not um, the Destiny Child ones. God. So let's go. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pick an, a song at random. You're gonna play like the first second or millisecond. Uh, yes. Go. <laughs> Wait, what's this? this? Wait, I know the song. What album is that song from? What's the title of the song? What album is it from? She has. I'm Sasha Fierce. Incorrect. Huh? It is. I. I'm. I was here. Oh. It was on four. Is it? Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Incorrect. Incorrect. Oh, it's for you. At least I got a song right. God damn. Yeah, she got the song right. Congratulations. That was that, hard. It was and I knew I one. knew that one would be hard. Because <laughs> oh, I do not listen to that song like that. No, girl. Um, uh, I played it. Did you hear it? No. <laughs> I don't know what song that is. I I have no idea. Is that on um uh B Day? Nope. You know what song it is? You just listen. Is it a s- I have no idea. Yeah. Ave Maria. Oh my yeah. God. You know what's so oh. funny? I just listened to that like <laughs> yesterday when we were talking about it in a group, in a group chat and then yeah. I was listening to it. <laughs> okay, let's go. This one might be an easy one. <laughs> All of your mind, Renaissance. Act Period. <laughs> um. Show. What's your name? Oh, uh, 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 video phone with uh, Beyonce, Lady Gaga, and that's on I Am Sasha Fizz. Correct. Um, get me bodied on B Day. Period. Get me bodied. <laughs> <laughs> the little twinkle. Um. All the ladies. Me, myself, and I, dangerously in love. <laughs> Bigger on the gift. It ain't for everybody. What song is that? Is that, um, 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 <laughs> um, it's here. It's it literally, guys, it's right <laughs> on my mouth. Like, it's, it's right here. It's right here. I, uh, it's gone. Welcome to Hollywood. Oh, go it. away. Go away. <laughs> do a hard one. Do a hard one. Go away. I'll do a hard one. Lights, action, Hollywood. Hollywood. I wanted to do. Oh, whoops. That's an interlude. Um, Beyonce's interlude or something. Is that satellite? Oh, he got that instantly. <laughs> I'm Sasha Fierce. Bye bye. <laughs> Um, um, is that I care? No, I don't even know the song. Oh, 
Broken Hearted Girl. No. Okay, I'll give you a different one because I don't think you know that one. Um. <laughs> oh. <laughs> freak em, freak em. What album? B Day. Yes. Um. Um. Okay. Hold up. Lemonade. 2016. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> School and Life for Yes. <laughs> um You know I hate sipping alone. If you said that you will soon be home. That is for Kitty baby Cat back. on B Day. I care. <laughs> that the other one really sounded like I care. It was um What was it? It was Worldwide Woman. Oh <laughs> w, 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 I don't w. like that song. Oh I love that song. Um and he'll let enemy pray I'm um, move forever The gift Oh Don't hurt yourself Lemonade 2016 <laughs> Naughty girl Danger in love 2003 <laughs> Cool One more Okay It's got a dear hard one then Ah <laughs> <laughs> Um um, is it B Day? Mm-mm. Oh, is that your face? Mm-hmm. Oh, I need to see the track. track you can't do that. <laughs> 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 uh, I lost. I lost. Smashing Tea. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What I lost. Um, no, it's not Smashing Tea. It's Hello. Um. <laughs> hello. Oh, and it's so, and it's so, and it's so, and it's dream. I need you to hold me. I'm scared of lonely, and I'm scared of being the only. <laughs> um, it's on. I'm such a bitch. Yeah, period. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in to our special episode on all things Beyonce. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and love our brand new logo. Shout out to Andreas. Thank love you, you so, so much, much for making it. Like, it's beautiful. It's perfect. You did oh, such an amazing job. Yes. And we shall see you next time. And always remember to clock in and buckle up. Because this, this is We, we Had a Time, time Baby. With Didi and Honey C. <laughs> <laughs>